been busy the last two weeks here. I haven't gotten a video out because it's been uh, like Christmas and New Year's and having to jump around to all the different families and, and do their parties and stuff. And then uh, trapping season, it, we're right in the middle of it. And uh, in Pennsylvania, the day after Christmas is cable restraint. So we're after some coyotes and uh, we're not trapping them. We've been going out hunting them, so it's been pretty busy. And then the days that we're not doing that, it's raining and it's just like a monsoon out there. You can't walk it without boots on it. it just It's like a sponge, it's swampy. So uh, there hasn't been much sawmilling because if I get the tractor out, and I end up just making ruts everywhere. So today I was bored and I decided that I wanted to do something in the wood shop. And I have this whole pile over here, all this wood just been sitting on the table just cluttering it up. And what they are is frames for uh, bees. I buy them unassembled so you just have to put everything together and glue it and staple it. So I'm going to get these put together and when they're done and filled with comb, this is what they should look like. Um, these are actual supers. Um, they're a little bit shorter. The ones that they lay their eggs in, those are uh, called deeps. They're, they're a good bit longer. Um, so I'm going to get these out of my way so that I can have my table back and go put them with the rest of the beekeeping stuff. So I figured I'd show you guys how to do that since I can't get out on the sawmill. Okay, for, so for frames there's three parts. There's the top. I use groove top and groove bottom. This is the top bar. This is the bottom. And then these are your sides. So to put these together I always just put a bunch of tops down, glue these, and you staple them, and then you put your bottoms in like that. So that's how I do it. <clears throat> I'll do I'll do about five at a time. That way, whenever I grab them to move them, you just pick them all up with one hand and have five frames together. So I will. Go ahead and slap five of those together. I've been I use the seven ace um, staples, so everything seems to hold so far. We haven't had any blow apart. Okay, so what I do is take uh, five of the side pieces, get my wood glue out, and I'll put it on the sides, and then down the center. So you'll have a good bit of glue in there. And then I do one side, take another five. sides and then the middle and then same thing Now that we have the two rows, I'll take the glue and I'll dab it on each side and then it runs down into the middle while I'm going to the next piece. And 
to start plugging them away. This will probably be a pretty short, boring video, but some people might be interested in how you make the B-frames. So, once you get them all glued and assembled like that, just take the gun and start popping some uh, staples in. Grab it with one hand, spin it. Make sure they're all still in. That's the bottom. Now you flip it over. five frames done. Now to figure out my air compressor, uh, one of the valves was going on it so it, it'll put some air through and then it'll just stop halfway through so I had to go fix that. So then I'll just set off to the side and keep running through them. So I'll probably throw this in a time lapse or something.
same thing on repeat over and over again, so that's going to get pretty boring. I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I have two more things. I think there's 25 in each of these little bundles, so i got about 50 more frames to put together. I did about 25 of them already, so probably another half an hour and they'll all be done. Um, I did want to give a shout out, though, to a guy uh, named Vince. I'm on the Facebook page for uh, the Wood Miser owners, and uh, for Christmas somebody wanted to get me some uh, saw blades. So I was looking into it to see if uh, maybe I should upgrade to a different uh, degree of blade. So I was asking questions what people recommended for my mill, and I actually had a guy, his name is Vince. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name because I don't want to butcher it. But uh, I'll put a link to his uh, Facebook page in the description. But uh, he was nice enough to actually send me a blade to try out. And I guess he works for a company that sells uh, Lennox blades. And he said he would send me one for a sample. So I'm looking forward to getting to try it out. Uh, I haven't got a chance to compare it to Wood Miser's blades yet. But pretty anxious to see how well it works. You know, maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison or something. But... Um, it's a couple bucks cheaper. I think it's like 18 bucks a blade instead of 20 something. I think it was 22 or 23 for wood miser blades. This is 18 bucks a blade, so if they work just as well, I might might use them more often. So that'll be an upcoming video. Uh, do a nice comparison. See how well these work out. Um, if anybody's interested, I don't know how well they work yet. So if anybody else is interested in saving a couple bucks. Uh, the link will be in the description at the end of the video. You can go ahead and check that out. Um, hop over to his Facebook page, give it a like, let him know that uh, you're interested in, in his blades. Alright, that's about all I got for today. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of upcoming videos, something you'd like to see, let me know. I don't know how much sawmill I'm going to be able to do. It's about January now. and Once January and February hit, the weather's miserable and I'm not quite set up for... Uh, winter yet, but uh, I do a lot of this kind of stuff in the winter, do some messing around. I got a farmhouse I tore down, it was made out of uh, wormy chestnut, it was all plank house, not a single stud in the whole house. So I have some of that wood left over that I usually just mess around with little projects. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to hit, hit up the comments, let me know. Uh, also I have a Facebook page, I post a bunch of pictures on there of things I'm doing, like if I'm tile in the bathroom or remodeling my, like a porch for, like I did for my family this year doing siding and stuff and I've been uh, updating that with pictures so if you uh, feel free to go over there and like that also if you enjoy this video feel free to go ahead and subscribe to it and uh, get updated for all the future videos that I put up I'll try to uh, keep videos coming up as often as I can um, I have a full time job so when I get off of there it's usually dark so I can't do a whole lot outside and uh, it's just I'm so busy doing other stuff that I don't always have a camera with me. Mm -hmm.